Welcome back to Real Estate Family Feud. I'm your host, Lauren Keim. Today we have with us the Gold Coat family <laughs> versus the x -Lax family. Unfortunately, the entire x -Lax family is still in the bathroom after the break. So we're gonna go right to the Gold Coats. Our goal today is to help you become an unstoppable prospecting machine. So our question today with the top six answers on the board, the question is name the top six methods realtors use to find new clients. So contestant number one, tell us about yourself. My name is Inigo Montoya. You kill my father. Prepare to die. I'm a Spanish swordsman and a cutting edge real estate professional. That is great, Indigo. Tell me, what are one of the top six methods realtors use to generate clients? My name is Indigo Matoya. You killed my father, prepared to die. And I would say open houses. Let's see if we have that answer. Yes! Absolutely correct. Although it's rare that a particular home sells at an open house, open houses can be a great source of initial contact with home buyers as long as you choose a home close to a high traffic area in a popular location. Open houses can also be a good source of home sellers if you take the time to canvas the neighborhood a few days before the open house and invite the neighbors. Anyone who's thinking of selling is very likely to show up. Now, contestant Alfred. number two. Alfred, Gotham must wait. I'm currently a contestant on Real Estate Family Feud. Contestant number two, what's your name? Wayne, Bruce Wayne. And what do you do, Mr. Wayne? People tend to think that I just drive fast cars and indulge in a lavish lifestyle, but there's more to me than meets the eye. I'm a philanthropist too. That's fantastic. So, do you have an answer for the question? What is one of the top six methods realtors use to attract new clients? I would go out and hunt them down and find those clients. I call it warm calling with a purpose. And the board says? Absolutely correct, Bruce. Calling around neighborhoods where someone in your firm might have recently sold a property to inform them of the sale and ask if they know of anyone thinking about selling or perhaps calling specific groups like expired listings or for sale by owners are great sources of business. In fact, most for sale by owners do ultimately list with an agent, so it's a great call to make as long as you follow up. Now, contestant number three, would you like to introduce yourself? My name is Elvis, Elvis Presley. Welcome, Elvis. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, hey, is there anything to eat here? Uh, maybe like some peanut butter and maybe some bandage, you know, if you smush it all together and just put it on a donut? That is great information and it will get you something after the break. But right now, you've got to answer the question, name one of the top six methods that realtors use to attract new clients. Well, Lauren, what about floor time? When I'm sitting around eating my peanut butter and banana on a donut, I sometimes pick up a lead in the office. Survey says... Oh, no! I'm going to have a blue Christmas over this. Elvis, you're the king. Come on! No, Elvis, I am so sorry. While some clients do come in on floor time, sitting around the office waiting for the phone to ring is not one of the top methods of finding new clients and, in fact, often wastes time when you could be proactively prospecting. So, contestant number five, you need no introduction. Chewbacca, how are you doing? <laughs> That is wonderful. Now again, the question is, name one of the top six methods realtors use to attract new clients. <laughs> and the board says? <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> is not the correct answer. <laughs> oh, Chewy, huh? What a terrible answer. <laughs> Hound dog, that's all right, mama. Contestant number five, can you introduce yourself? Here, I'll run back. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow, mate. I sell the high seas, but I'm not selling fixer ups that have been damaged by cannon fire. Okay, Jack. That's Captain Jack. Of course, Captain Jack. So again, the question is, what are the top six methods that realtors use to find new clients? Communications, mate. You have to let your mates know what you know and what you're doing. Stay in contact with your social media network and whatnot. Remind them what you do and that you need their help. And? <laughs> 
Another great answer. In fact, the number one source of closed transactions today, despite all of the cold calling by realtors, despite all the buying of leads online, remains referrals from your social network or your sphere of influence. It accounts for over 60% of all residential real estate transactions. And remember, while you may think that everyone knows what you do, all those people you went to high school and college with, all your second cousins and your distant relatives may not exactly remember that you're in real estate. And more importantly, they don't realize that you need their help growing your business. So make sure to do regular postings on social media. Stay in regular contact with your friends, your family, your former coworkers from prior careers, and your past clients, and constantly, subtly remind them that you need their help. Hey, you can even share some how-to real estate videos. So, contestant number six, can you introduce yourself? I'm Dr. Sheldon Cooper, and I know all three remaining answers. And I hate Will Wheaton. He doesn't have anything to do with this production, does he? I do not think that means what you think it means. You have some issues, mate. I'm not insane. My mother had me tested. Well, that's great, Sheldon, but you can't give us three answers. We only need one, and the question is, what are the top six methods realtors use to attract new clients? Of course I can name one. It's technology, online marketing. You are correct. <laughs> of course it's right. Yes, well, online marketing can include anything from making sure you have your own IDX compatible website, to writing blog posts, to buying zip codes on Zillow, over the past decade, there's been a seismic shift in the way some real estate is conducted. More buyers and sellers than ever are doing online research and checking you out before meeting. And that means you need to be everywhere. In 2017, we hit an all-time high for closed transactions directly coming from real estate portals. In fact, 7.5% of closed sales actually came directly from Zillow. So build your reputation on Zillow. Make sure you have uh, that website with lots of great information and create a solid follow-up campaign for every potential lead you get. And hope you're part of a brand that might give you free tools like Zap and Toolkit CMA. Back to you, Indigo. The Gold Coat family still has two answers left on the board, but you've got two strikes against you. Hi, Indigo Montoya. You killed my father, prepared to die. I would say I consistently prospect bank foreclosures and also attorney offices. And I would say having a consistent farm would be a great source of leads. Survey says. <laughs> That's a great answer, Indigo. In fact, selecting a target market for your business and becoming a specialist in that market and following up consistently with your target group over and over again is still one of the leading forms of finding real estate business. You might select a geographic location or become the neighborhood expert, or you might select a type of property like lakefront or contemporary, or a target group like physicians or divorce and estate attorneys or foreclosure departments and banks, and stay in contact with them, providing valuable information until they see you as the go-to person to work with. And that brings us to our last answer on the board. You still have one strike, Bruce. Uh, Bruce? Bruce had to leave. I'm Batman. Okay then, so Batman, can you name the final answer on the board? The answer is networking, Lauren. That's how I find out everything that I need to know about my enemies. Building relationships with others is important to help grow your real estate practice. And the board says? You are correct. Oh, that's one power. <laughs> Yes, we won. Now I must go save Gotham. Again, Batman, that's a great answer. You can network within the industry with mortgage originators and title agents, or you can network in your local chamber of commerce, or you can join a LATIP group or a BNI or any networking organization. They can really help you boost your career. <laughs> well, we are out of time today, but I want to congratulate our winners, the Gold Goat Team. Next week when our champions the Gold Coat team goes up against the Kool-Aid wannabe family. 
And by the way, you can join us live March 11th through the 14th at the Marriott World Resort in Orlando, Florida for the 121 experience. I'll be there live to talk about building a follow-up campaign, effectively using Facebook and social media and marketing your listings, and an action plan to grow your commercial real estate practice. And maybe, just maybe, we'll do a couple of rounds of Real Estate Family Feud. Thanks everyone, have a great night. Kill my father. <laughs> what you got on your suspicious back? That's Captain Jack. Survey says? I call it warm calling with a purpose. I know all three remaining answers. Bruce had to leave. I'm Batman. <laughs>